China just tripled, tripled sales of electric cars in January and February of this year. Tripled. I have no words for how fast this is happening. Maybe even faster than the smartphone evolution, the smartphone disruption, which destroyed Nokia in the space of only a couple of years. Legacy Auto, wow. Look out. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking. Now, I know I sound like hyperbole, I'm exaggerating, I'm, but I'm not. Seriously. New energy vehicle sales in China last year were 100,000 in February. February is by far the slowest month of the year because basically everyone shuts down for two weeks of February. However, they were 317,000 this year. So it more than tripled. They went from 100,000 to 317,000. Now to put this in perspective, in December of 2020, new energy vehicle sales in China were 210,000, right? In February, they were 15,000. So that's the difference. Normally, you're going to see a difference of almost 10x versus February. What does this mean? If we're, if we're seeing 317,000 deliveries in February, that means there's a good chance that we'll see nearly 3 million in December of this year. For example, December of last year, 505,000. Good chance December of this year, we're going to see at least 2 million. That's insane. This is happening much, much, much quicker than anyone was predicting. And it's make, really making these financial analysts and these, these investment banks and these so-called people who predict and the expert teams that do all this research, it's making them look really stupid. So wholesale sales of electric passenger vehicles in China reached 317,000 in February. That's an increase of 190% year on year. And those figures come from the China Passenger Car Association. Now that includes 245,000 electric vehicles. In other words, the vast majority of those figures were fully electric and 72,000 plug-in hybrids. So 77% of the total was fully electric and 22.7% were plug-in hybrids. So you can clearly see here, uh, because in China you can get an electric car for the same price as an internal combustion engine vehicle or a plug-in hybrid, most people are smart enough to work out. That's the logical decision. Now, how many cars were sold in China during February? Well, the number was 1.455 million. So 1,455,000. That's an increase of 27% year on year. And it's down 32% from last month, January. But like I said, February is the very slow month of the year for Chinese passenger car sales and for Chinese sales period unless you're working in the tourism industry, and then it's a different story. Now, retail sales of passenger vehicles in, in February were 1.25 million. That's an increase of 4% year on year and down 40% compared to January. Now, you can see here, uh, retail sales of cars in uh, China haven't really increased that much. But as a percentage, electric car sales have gone up enormously. Now, although there was still an outbreak of COVID-19 cases in China, the relatively mild prevention initiatives did not have a significant impact on residential travel and vehicle buying. And this boosted electric vehicle sales. That's coming from the Chinese government. I don't know whether or not that's true, but that's what they say. So what percentage of all vehicles sold in China in February were electric? Well, it's increased again versus the insane figures we were seeing in November and December of last year to 22%. Now that's an increase of a massive 12.2 percentage points versus the 9.6% we saw in February of 2021. In other words, electric car sales as a percentage of vehicle sales in China have way more than doubled. Of those vehicles, the majority of them, the vast majority of them are being made by purely Chinese car companies. I'm not talking about JVs between Legacy Auto and Chinese car companies. I'm talking about just Chinese vehicle manufacturers. The penetration rate of electric vehicles among local brands was 38%. In other words, of all local Chinese cars sold in China, nearly 40% were EVs. Now the figure for legacy automakers, Toyota, BMW, Mercedes, everyone else, was only 3.3%. That'd be a little bit like Nokia only selling 3.3% of their phones, which are smartphones. The other 96.7%, or old analog phones. Can you see where this is going now? Can you see where this is going? Wholesale sales of pure play EVs in February were 245,000. That's an increase of 162% year on year, while plug-in hybrid sales were 72,000. That's up 351% year on year. Now, Volkswagen's JVs in China saw wholesale sales of 12,000 electric vehicles in February. That accounted for 58% share of mainstream joint venture brands. 
In other words, of legacy automakers in China, pretty much the only car company, any remotely significant number of EVs is Volkswagen. Everyone else is screwed because China is by far the world's largest car market and it's growing. And guess what? A large number of Chinese still don't drive cars, whereas that's not the same story in the West. In the West, most people that want to drive a car do. Most, not all, but most. In China, most people that want to drive a car don't drive a car because they haven't been able to afford it, but that's rapidly changing. So you can see there's a lot more mobility, a lot more opportunity for the Chinese to buy more cars versus the West where there's not as much need for them. Now, if you look at purely retail sales, so not fleet sales, just purely retail sales to consumers of Chinese auto brands, purely Chinese owned, not legacy auto joint JVs or anything else, 42% of all their cars, 42% were EVs, 42%. Legacy auto, 3.4%. 42 versus 3.4. How many legacy auto vehicles do you think are going to be sold in China in 2030 based on that's those trends and those numbers. I don't think it's gonna be very many, if any. What about exports? Electric vehicles exported from China in February were 45,300 units. That's down 52,000 units in January. But of course, like I said, factories in China shut down further. We can't really compare that, but it's a definite increase over the previous year, same month. Tesla exported 33,315 China-made vehicles in February. SAOC passenger cars exported 4,300. And Dongfeng exported 4,500. In addition, BYD exported 804, Geely 588, and SAOC Maxis 240. Now you can imagine in 10 years what those numbers are going to look like. It's going to be ridiculous. Now, five companies exceeded 10,000 electric vehicle sales for the month of February, which is pretty insane considering how bad February is traditionally for car sales, period. Five companies had over 10,000, but BYD had 87,473, Tesla, 56,000, SAIC, GM, Wuling, 26,000, Geely, 14,285, and Cherry, 2,271. So Tesla's 56,615 made China-made vehicles in February was an increase of 209% versus February of last year. You can see Tesla's ramping up their sales very, very quickly in China. And in fact, apparently plan to be able to produce 1 million vehicles per year from their factory in Shanghai, which is insane. That would make it the most productive vehicle factory in the world, period. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.